What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Bible study. I'm your host, Brother Shane, and I'm joined as always by my son slash co-host slash Minecraft guru, Nathan. Say hey, Nathan. Hello. All right, so what are we going to be doing today? I think today we're going to do some digging. So what do we need to dig? We need some wood. Then whenever we get that, we'll turn it into some wood planks, create a crafting table. Then we'll need some sticks and some wood planks, and we can make ourselves a shovel. It would be two sticks and one wood plank. So we're going to make a shovel. Is that what you're saying? Yes. All right, cool. So you get your shovel made. Uh, we're going to need a crafting table too, right? Yes. So you're going to have to get enough stuff to make that. All right, so you work on getting a shovel made. But first, you got to make a crafting table. There you go. Slop okay. that down. Boop. Good job. And now we've got enough stuff to make a crafting table. Sticks. I mean, make a shovel. There shovel. All right, let's see how far down we can dig with our shovel. While Nathan's digging, I want everybody to look in their Bibles and turn to the book of Jonah. We're actually going to start in Jonah chapter 3, verse 1, but I want to spend just a little bit of time catching you up in case you don't know the story of Jonah. Now, the story of Jonah is this. Jonah was a prophet, which means that God used Jonah to speak to the people on the earth. Well, one day, God told Jonah to go to the capital city of Israel's enemies and preach to them. Now, think about that. God told Jonah to go to Israel's enemies and preach to them. I mean... That's kind of like telling Princess Leia to go to the Death Star and talk about how good the rebellion is. It was something that Jonah just did not want to go do. So do you know what Jonah did? Well, Jonah went down to the coast and got on a boat heading in the exact opposite direction of Nineveh. So think about that. God tells Jonah to go and do something. And not only does Jonah choose not to do it, but Jonah goes and heads the opposite way. Well, the next part of the story is what people know best about the Jonah narrative, and that's where he is eaten by a great big fish. And you know that, you've heard that. Then comes the part that most middle school boys like about the story, and it comes from Jonah 2.10. Now, if you have your Bible open to 3.1, just look back a little bit and read Jonah 2.10. Nathan, read that for us. Then the Lord commanded the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. Yep, the fish puked Jonah out, vomited Jonah out onto dry land, all right? So, which you have to admit, it's both a little gross and a whole lot of awesome. Uh, but what happens next is actually my favorite part of the story. But before we get to chapter three in Jonah, like your shovel there is turning a little red. Why is it turning red like that? Because it's breaking. All right, so what happens if it breaks? You can't get it back. It's broken forever. All right, let me see. So go ahead and do it. Like you're going to break it. La, la, you keep la, la, digging down with la, your little shovel, la, la, la. and it's... Almost gone all the way down. Oh, now it's broken. Now it's just gone, right? Mm-hmm. Gone forever. All right, so... And you can't fix it at all, can you? Nope. Do you ever feel like you're broken? I, hey, why don't you go do something cool? Why don't you go make us something while I'm talking a little bit more? Or you can dig some more. Make us another shovel and see what you can do. Can I make uh, a stronger shovel? Yeah, you make a stronger shovel. That'll be fine. Uh, do you ever feel like you're broken? In Minecraft, when something breaks, it is useless. Sometimes people feel like when they mess up, they are useless too. I wonder if Jonah felt useless after he messed up and chose to run away from God. I don't know what he felt while he sat there in fish vomit, but I do know that he wasn't useless. You see, when things break in Minecraft, they're just broken and they're broken forever. But God loves taking broken things and broken people and using them for his glory. That is why I think that Jonah 3.1 is one of my favorite verses in the whole Old Testament. Because Jonah 3.1 says this. Read it for us, Nathan, right there. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Even though Jonah had chosen to disobey God, God didn't give up on him. In fact, God chose to still use Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. When we mess up, we may feel like we are broken, and we may feel like we're too broken to be used by God. But God gave Jonah a second chance, and he can give you a second chance too. All right, Nathan, I like your new shovel. What's it made out of? Stone. All right, so you got a stone shovel, so that will dig a lot longer, won't break as more. But even if it, even if it does break, uh, you know what I'm saying, in Minecraft, it's useless. But if you break, if you do something wrong, if you make a wrong choice, if you make a wrong idea, God can still use you. He can, he doesn't say you're gone forever, God can still use you even if you've messed up or even if you're broken. Okay, Nathan, thanks again for being my Minecraft guru today. Honestly, breaking things is probably something I could have done myself, but it's nice to have you there helping me out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time on the Minecraft Bible Study. Say bye. Bye.